Hey, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and today we're making bratwurst meatball subs. Now these sandwiches are gonna have three main components. The first one being the bratwurst meatballs, which we're gonna grind ourselves. After that, we'll have a cheesy beer braised sauerkraut, and of course, a bun to hold all that goodness. So let's get started on our bratwurst sausage. So I've just pulled all of these elements out of the freezer because we want to keep everything as cold as possible while we grind. We'll be using two kinds of meat today. This is two pounds of beef chuck roast, and over here we have two pounds of pork shoulder. But we also want to be sure that as we load this meat into the grinder, it's very cold. After this initial grind, we're just gonna run it through one more time so it's not quite so coarse. Now the next step requires us to set up a stand mixer. So while I'm doing that, I wanna throw the meat back in the fridge to keep it as cold as possible. All right, so before we get our meat mixture on the mixer, we're gonna mix up our seasoning. And we're gonna need about five ounces of beer. And then for our seasoning, we have this really awesome backwoods bratwurst seasoning. Super delicious. It takes some of the work out of doing the seasoning yourself, although if you want to, you can definitely concentrate on those flavors of white pepper and ground ginger and, and nutmeg and make your own rub that way as well. All right. So this is going to be our seasoning for our bratwurst, gives it all the big bratwurst flavor. And what we want to do is add this to our meat mixture and then get it mixing. So we'll start this out slowly. And all that beer and spices, you can really smell those aromas coming out. And then we'll crank it up a little bit. All right, so this has been mixing for about one minute. You can see here it's gotten nice and sticky. And we've achieved that primary bind. We really don't want to go too long on this part because we risk melting the fats from all that friction and then that changes the texture of the sausage. I'm forming these fairly quickly, always working fast to keep the meat cold. And we're doing meatballs with a diameter of about an inch and a half, roughly two ounces each. When these cook down, we should be able to fit three or four of these onto a sandwich. All right, we got all these meatballs formed. I just want to throw them in the fridge for a little bit to let them set up a little bit, and then we're going to get them on the grill. We'll be direct grilling our meatballs on grill grates on our Yoder Smokers YS640. It's set at 375 degrees. These meatballs have been on the grill for about 10 minutes and it's time to give them a flip so we can get some color on the other side. Now currently they're reading at about 120 degrees internal temperature. And we're gonna take them up to probably about 155 before we throw them in with our beer braised sauerkraut, which we're getting ready to get started on. And we're gonna be preparing the rest of this dish in our Dutch oven here. So I wanna get it in the cooker to preheat. And that way, when everything's ready to go, it's nice and hot. We can throw the meatballs in with the sauerkraut, with the beer, with the cheese. And we'll get on to all of that here shortly. I've got some of these meatballs temping at about 140 right now, and some of them are already at 160. So what I want to do is take the ones off that are already done, leave the ones on that need a little bit more time, and then begin making our sauerkraut. All right, to the hot Dutch oven, we're gonna add about four cups of sauerkraut. Do about a quarter cup of House of Q's Slow Smoke Gold. This is a really great mustard sauce. And then we're gonna to top this off with some beer. Just enough to get it covered. That's most of a beer bottle. And we're just gonna let this reduce down a little bit, let those flavors all really mix together well. And then as these meatballs finish up, 
we're going to combine everything into one pot. Well, with the liquid reducing down in our beer brace kraut, we're going to add our meatballs in here and kind of continue to keep these warm so they're ready to go on the sandwich. And then we're just going to add about a half cup of white cheddar to this. We toss all of this around. Let these flavors all get really friendly and we'll be ready to put these on our toasted buns. Let's just give this maybe five more minutes. All right, we've got these really wonderfully toasted Subway buns, look like little boats just ready to hold on to all of this filling. We're gonna try and stuff as much of this on here as we can. And just a little extra on top. I don't think anyone would blame me if you tried to eat this thing with a fork because these things are massive. You can see that we've got some really great color on the meatballs from the grill. So we're going to get some of that smokiness coming through along with the fantastic flavors of the mustard and the sauerkraut. All right, I'm going to try and tackle this behemoth. Hmm. It's got all the great flavors that you love when you're eating a bratwurst. The mustard's amazing. That sauerkraut is fantastic. This is an awesome recipe to get your Oktoberfest kick started. I hope you guys give this one a try at home. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you got any questions or comments, or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.